Okay, so I'm going to well try to show you how to wire up a lamp. You know, kind of. Now, I got bored one day, and for some reason, I decided I want to build a lamp. Yeah, not too bad, but I don't know anything about electrical work, so I had to do a lot of research online. Well, what I found out is there's a lot of videos and a lot of websites which will tell you on the socket, right here on the end of the socket, which one of these screws is the neutral and the hot, right? And the hot is where the electricity comes in, neutral is where it goes back out, <clears throat> right? But they won't tell you the rest of the setup, you know? They won't tell you should the neutral wire be where the switch is connected or should it just go straight to the plug. They won't tell you which prong to connect each wire on and they won't even explain that you need a two prong plug. Well, I mean, of course you need a two prong plug, but I mean like a separate prong system because you can go out and buy these cheap little plugs which they just open up and you clamp down on them and these things suck. They're horrible. I, I don't know what you would use them for because I kept blowing the breaker in the house because I was using this one. I think it, I'm pretty sure it's this thing that kept blowing the breaker. Anyhow, I figured since I had to figure this out through trial and error, I'm going to try to help out anyone else who wants this information and I'm going to try to title this video properly so that people who are trying to wire a lamp can actually wire a lamp and not, uh, you know, figure out which plug is neutral. Alright. You have your black, you have your brass screw here. Mm -hmm. And it goes to this piece here in the middle of the brass piece and in the middle of the plug. And you have your silver liner thing and that goes to your silver screw here. Right. Well, your brass screw is the hot and your silver is the neutral. You know? Right now I have my white wire connected to my neutral and the black wire connected to my hot. Okay? That's just for me because I'm just, I made all this shit out of scratch. If you buy, that's a train. If you buy all this shit, like in one of those kits, it will probably explain it for you and it'll actually be easier. But anyhow, I have my neutral wire, which is my white wire, connected to the skinny prong here. And I don't know if it matters which prong you connect it. The video I found, it said that it did. So I'm going to assume that it does matter. Yeah. Anyhow, my neutral wire is connected to the skinny prong. Right? Because they're a different size and they'll only go into the socket one way. And my black wire, my hot wire, is connected to the fat prong. This one right here. Fat. Now. My hot wire goes from the socket to the switch and then to the plug. My neutral wire goes straight from the socket to the plug. Okay? Now, when you put, when you start uh, attaching the wires and such, and you can find videos for this, but if you buy the same kind of plug I did, got this little piece, you take that out. You usually have to use a screwdriver. It's really hard to pull these out. And it comes out, and these aren't color coded, you know. Each prong comes out individually, you know. And they can both come out at the same time. It doesn't matter. You can rotate this thing and put them back in. You're not going to screw it up. You just wrap the uh, wire around the screw, tighten the screw, loop it through this slot thing. But you need a plug like this, which has two separate prongs. Unlike cheap plastic piece of shit, which I can't even get out. 
Yeah, the one that the one that was all black and burned. Oh well, yeah, it burned. There's little pieces of metal that are soldered to the little clip thing. They're parts of the wire. And you also have ones which are not uh well the two prongs are the same size. They're both the skinny prongs, you know. Hopefully this will be a good size comparison. Right? Yeah. You can see this one is fatter than the other. Anyway. Little black one. Now I guess you can buy one of these and you could plug it in or rotate it and plug it in. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I decided not to take the chance. So I have my setup here. And to recap. Neutral wire. Silver screw. Straight to the plug. Skinny prong. Alright, skinny prong. Hot wire. Brass screw. Goes to the switch. And these switches, they come with the wires already attached. So that's one less thing you have to worry about. Goes from the switch to the fat prong. Now, maybe you can change some things about it, but if you just want it to work, I promise you it will work. Ever bold. And this video is still going to be about 8 minutes. That's great. This is like my fourth attempt to try and get it to not be 8 minutes. It would be awesome if I blew a breaker though. It would be fucking hilarious. Okay, plugged in. Breaker has not blown yet. I'm gonna put it under a hat because it's really bright. Right, you can see my bulb here. Yep. There we go. It works. Turned on the switch. Watch me turn off the switch. There we go. You can now wire up your own light. And I'm not sure what you'll do with that info, but maybe if you find another tutorial, how to build a lamp or something, you know, you can use this info. And, you know, as always, I am not a licensed professional. I don't have any particular expertise in this or anything. I just found a solution that works and I wanted to share it with anyone who wanted the info and always be safe and if there's ever any problems always ask an actual electrician or you know the people who comment below the video because they're always so helpful